In this video, we're going to look at example one, which is all about an angle of elevation. Before we do that, I just want to quickly talk about the difference between an angle of elevation and an angle of depression. If you think of the word elevate, which sounds a lot like elevation, the word elevate means for something to go up, to elevate or lift something up. That's what an angle of elevation is about. It's about an angle that goes up basically. Also, when you think of the word depression or feeling depressed, you think of the word down. You feel down. So angles of depression go down. So let's get into example here. It says that Jane needed to measure the height of one of the trees on her property. While standing 20 meters from the base of the tree, she measured the angle of elevation from the ground to the top of the tree at 56 degrees. What is the height of the tree? So the first thing we need to do is we need to construct our triangle here. That's what we're going to focus on before we actually answer the question. I'm going to draw my tree. So we don't know how tall this tree is yet. But we do know that Jane is standing 20 meters from the base of the tree. So we'll draw that down. This length here is 20 meters. She 20 meters from the base of the tree. That was written here. It also says that the angle of elevation from the ground to the top of the tree is 56 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll go from the ground and draw a straight line to the top of the tree and the angle of elevation which is the angle coming up is 56 degrees and we need to find the height of the tree so we'll label that as X we're trying to find X now we've got a nice right angle triangle here and we have enough information to figure out the height of the tree sometimes it helps to redraw the triangle without any of the images on it so I'm going to do that right now we have our right angle our side of X that we're trying to find our angle of 56 degrees and our 20 meter length. Okay, so we're going to start by labeling this triangle. X is the opposite. Um, our hypotenuse is this side here and our 20 meter length is our adjacent. So we're going to cross off our hypotenuse. We're using opposite and adjacent. And if we look at our acronym SOHCAHTOA, S-O-H, C-A-H-T-O-A, you will notice that we're using the third part of our acronym because we have an O and an A labeled or an opposite and adjacent. So we've got to use TAN here. So TAN, next is our angle, 56 degrees, equals putting down our vinculum bar. And if we look at the acronym TOA, you'll notice it goes TAN, then O for opposite, adjacent last. So opposite is X, so that goes at the top of the fraction. Adjacent comes last, which is 20. That goes at the bottom of our fraction. Now, if you have a number at the bottom, or for the denominator, we do what's called a slide. We slide the 20 to the front of tan 56. 20 times tan 56 equals X. All right, we'll bring up our calculator now. Remembering to make sure that it says D, E, G, or D for degrees at the top, otherwise our solution will be wrong. And we just type it in 20 times tan of 56 degrees, don't need to put the degree symbol in, equals, and um, it hasn't really told us how many decimal places to do it to. So let's do it to um, two decimal places, 29.65, X equals 29.65, and that would be in meters, correct, to two decimal places. And because it's a written question, we should give a written answer. So we should write the height of the tree is 29.65 meters. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.